guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to showcase a champion that was just recently buffed, and I just pulled him yesterday, all right? You all know who that is? That is the most underrated champion in the game right now, Constantine. I did a video about him before, uh, but it was before the uh, before the buff. Actually, the buff didn't really help him that much. Well, it's still huge. It didn't help him with the multipliers, but enemy from these factions just cannot be revived if, if it's killed by this champion. This is actually insane because all the meta arena champions are from either Undead Horror or Demon Spawn. Knight's Rev, uh, probably not that big of a deal, but pretty much all the meta champions are from Undead Horde or Demon Spawn, like Duchess, CV, Rodos, stuff like that, Kendra Fong, right? And his reveal is. Well, he definitely doesn't deserve a rating like this, right? I already showcased the champion before, and actually, one of the criticism I got from my champion showcase video is people are saying that uh, I do I should put the best gear I have to that champion that so I can showcase that champion's full potential all right so today I just removed my Kendra Fong's gear and I put that gear to my Constantine there it is all right so this Constantine has pretty much like very very good savage gear all right <laughs> at least if, it, if it's not the best damage gear on my account, definitely the second best, alright? So this constant thing is gonna do a lot of damage. His base attack is really low, to be honest. 1421 as a Void Legendary, Void Attack Based Legendary. Uh, it's not really that impressive, right? The crit damage is really high, and I'm able to get to, wow, six, uh, six, 6500 attack. Very good number, right? And for his skill kit, I think like this is a not a new champion, so people should be familiar with it, right? Attack one enemy, place an extra hit. If the target is under any debuffs, of course, target is gonna have debuffs, so it's pretty, pretty much a two hit. And uh, this is attack two times. Each hit ignores ten percent of defense. For every leech decrease defense or block active skills. All right, so this is. This is actually really good. It ignores 10% of defense. Like if you're using Madam Sirius, you're always gonna have 10% uh, ignore defense because of this decreased defense here. And if you're using Romantu, you're gonna have 10% ignore defense as well. So for the A3, attack one enemy before attacking, steal all the buffs from the target. This doesn't really matter because you are not going to build this champion with accuracy anyways. And the second part is transfer all the debuff from the champion to the target. Again, like the good thing is you're gonna, it's kind of like a cleanse, right? You just remove all your debuff and transfer to target, but don't like, don't hope for this to land because you are not gonna build the champion with accuracy. All right. But I feel like this skill really need to be like, uh, if this skill can kill an enemy, grant an extra turn and decrease the cooldown of this skill, something like that, all right? It needs to be something like that. All right, the passive is obviously really good. All right, let's just, uh, let's just showcase him here. All right, and, and actually, like, his partner, Vlad, which is a fusion champion, like, the only difference on his skill kit is just a passive. All enemy kills by this champion cannot be revived. Honestly, I think this doesn't really matter. So I don't really see any reason to put Vlad on the same team. Honestly, this second part of the passive doesn't really matter. All right, so, Let's see what we got here. Let's go to Arena, Implant Arena. Alright, so I'm at rank 22 at the moment. Let's take on some... See if I can find Speed Team first. Alright, let's see this one. Alright, I'm gonna take out Leoris. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take uh, Constantine here. Alright, let's go like this. It's my uh, very traditional Speed Farming Team. I'm gonna go first. Alright, so I'm gonna put block skill cooldown. Let's see the damage here. I'm gonna use the A2. Look at that. See that block revive right there? Block revive on Duchess. Alright, so let's let's try let's let's take on those tankier teams. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna use this team here. Let me take out these champions. Put a Let's put uh, Necro to protect my uh, Constantine. Make sure I don't get one shot. All right, let's see. This is a very slow team, obviously. All right. I don't really want to use our attack here. All right. 
Still alive. Come on, remove. And attack up. Let's see a damage. One shot. Look at that. I, I saw uh, 80,000 damage on a single hit on that Duchess. Alright. Alright, actually, let's uh, let's try this team here. This can be a very good example because uh, they have a cardio. And I'm gonna let them go first. They're gonna put, uh, I think, Revive on Death on all these champions, right? Let's see if this is a fast cardio. Alright, see? They have Revive on Death. And I'm gonna remove the buff, but I cannot remove Revive on Death. Oh. That hits hard, okay? Then I'm gonna put Attack up here. My Constantine is gonna get a turn. Look at that. Block Revive here. Right. That's a Swift Parry. Like, Block Revive on Duchess is already enough. Look at this A1 damage. What is this? I saw like over 100,000 damage on a single hit, and the A1 is 2 hit, alright? We can try a couple more, like this is another cardio team. Oh, that's a slow cardio. Weird, weird build. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, I'm gonna put attack up here. Let's do the A2. Boom. Alright. Three block revive right there. That hits hard. Like this team is just so good against those slow teams. Let's try this one. Alright, this could be a little bit different because they have a warlord. So how, making sure I put their skill to cooldown first. Let me just use a warlord here. Alright, it should work. Put a manual a little bit. Can I go first? Right, I can go first. Um, can I kill Kendra from here? Yeah, block revive. Look at that. That Kendra from just stays dead. The reason I didn't use that before is because um, I thought a lot of Kendra is gonna be on Swift Parry. All right, we can take on them one by one. Look at this. See you later. Block revive. All right. We can actually kill them one by one. Alright, it's gonna be another one shot here. I'm gonna use Constantine's A3 against this Warlord. Boom, one shot. With increased defense and strengthen, it hits 110,000 damage. Look at that. You don't really need the A2. Like, I really hope this A3 is gonna get, get an extra turn. If this 3, A3 gets an extra turn, like this champ is the best damage dealing champ in the game. Alright, those slow teams are just really easy. Like, against those faster teams, the problem is, like these CFs are gonna A1. These CFs are gonna A1 my uh, Constantine. That's, um, that's, that's not bad. That's not good, alright? That's why I like, cannot use, um, I cannot use Constantine here. The only choice is Leoris. I don't even think Tronda works. So let's go back to the traditional team setup where I use a Romantu. Let's go like this. Maybe we can try some a uh, couple faster teams after this one. So their Mithrala is gonna go first. All right, let's see if I can kill this Duchess here. Not really. Uh, reaction accessory, that's fine. It's gonna cleanse, it's fine. Attack up. They are going to get one shot here. Yeah, Kendra Fong. Boom. Counter attack. It stays dead. Alright. Let's see if I can kill this Duchess with Necro's protection. <laughs> alright. Very close, alright. I think that's very close. And now it's dead. See? Okay, block revive. They can't revive anyways. Okay, that's about it. 
I'm looking for those faster teams that doesn't have a CV, so they cannot uh, put me to sleep. All right, so let, let's go like this. They have a Leoris, so it's kind of um, scary here. Uh, actually, just 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 use my uh, fa speed speed farm team setup here. Come on, let's go first. Hopefully that Leoris doesn't counterattack or anything like that. Woof. I think that, that is actually one of the worst Leoras I've seen. Like how come he only does so little damage, but I still died anyways. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's let's change the team set a little bit. Let's just make sure like Constantine doesn't die. Man, that's why I feel like Leoras is just the best one. Like Swift Parry on the passive and cannot be a crowd controlled, right? Um, let's try to kill Arbiter. Alright, one shot. Let's do the A2. Right, no debuffs on the enemy. Still able to one shot the enemy team. Just easy clap, alright? Again, uh, I want to try to avoid CV team because they're gonna sleep me. This is interesting here. I think I tried this one before, right? Did I try this one before? I don't quite remember. All right, let's let's go like this. See if I can, if I can get a one shot here. Um. So I think this is gonna be a one shot. All right, let's target Sifi. Look at that block revive. The A1, just one shot a CV like this with a huge shield, right? Let's do this. Ben. That's it. I think this A1 actually hits harder than Kendrophon. Alright. See if I can find like super super tanky team. Let's try this one. Right, let's just go like this, alright? Doesn't really matter. Do this. See, see if, I, if I can kill the Duchess here. Probably not. All right. Probably not. Yeah. Reaction. That's fine. Let me put it on my minor series. Probably a bad idea. All right. I get another turn for some reason. Wait. Why did I get another turn? Oh, that's his first turn. What am I thinking? Okay. So. Let's just A2. Alright, a lot of reaction accessories. That's fine. Yeah, I actually shouldn't use the A2 here. Necrit. Keeping them alive. Let's see if I can kill Duchess here. Probably not. Okay. Now this Duchess is going to die. Never mind. Okay. Swift parry. Should be dead now, right? Okay. Now this Kandrophon is going to die. Block revive. They can't revive anyways. Alright, let's just put on auto. See how much damage he can do. I don't have attack up here. I have attack down now. Well, I, I think this Shining Parent with Necrit is super good because Necrit's A1 is putting a debuff on the enemy, and Constantine's, uh, Constantine's A1 requires debuff on the enemy. So, like, this is a perfect pair. With uh, with Necrit. Come on, just get me out of here. One shot. All right, that's the damage without attack up. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's about it for the showcase. What do you guys think? Personally, I think this champion is awesome. All right, if not the top three damage dealer in the game, definitely top five. Especially this is a Void Affinity Legendary. All right, 
like he just hits really really hard and this block revive at least this is much much better than Inithui. That's my personal opinion. This champ is just much much better than Inithui. Like block revive on these two factions on their hold and demon spawn, that's gonna be enough. All right. And actually, I, I um I forgot to show you guys the mastery I, I put on this champion. So let me put it up. That's the gear. That's the mastery. I'm using a counter attack. This is a traditional nuclear route and the defensive tree with a counter attack. All right. So yeah. That's gonna be it for, about this video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this champion is good? Alright, if you don't think this champion is good, at very very least, you should agree that he doesn't deserve rating like this, right? So yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!